Hi everyone, welcome to 7 Days to Die, Alpha 11.2, it says so in the top corner there. It's 8.08 .08 in the morning and we're here, hiding in the trees. So, there's a reason we're hiding in the trees. One, I've put the, uh, the difficulty up uh, somewhat. Uh, looks like one punch, there's a beacon coming through that, that tree. It's just literally the light, it's fine. Oh, we're being hunted. Now, um, there's going to be a different take on this uh, Let's Play. I'm not going to do the traditional Let's Play. Whoa. Whoa, these are tough. Good God. Okay, we're bleeding already. Yeah, so I've, as you can see, I've ramped up the difficulty. Uh, even though everyone's saying this is really tough. Um, yeah, I can believe them now. Wow. Melee is pre pretty useless when you're low level by the looks of it. Uh, that's why I have the shotgun. Um, we'll get out of the way of them. Uh, and then we'll do a talk on how we've set this game up. Look at the incredibly bad load distance. This is on maximum, by the way. This is on everything's on max, so this is um, quite poor. Um, the the graphics are pretty enough. They've done the overhaul, which they look very nice. Don't get me wrong. It's just the uh, the draw distance is just so tiny now. You can start to see stuff spawning in, which is really disappointing from my point of view. Oh, we got a little tent up here and a little camp. So, I've set it um, to uh, more trickier than normal, thus I have started us off with some starting equipment, i.e. some shot a shotgun, shotgun shells, some tea, some pasta, um, a fire axe, a pickaxe, and a barbed club. Also, some basic clothing. So I've got jeans, some worn boots, a ripped shirt, a bandana, some sunglasses because it's cool, and a beanie hat because, let's face it, if there's a zombie apocalypse, you're not going to go running out of your house with just your pants on, are you? And this may tell you... Nav's Game! National Forest Park. We are playing the... the I thought... The random gen maps, they've not been doing it for me. They're just dull and lifeless. So I thought we'd actually have some... What the hell was that? Level... You're level two. Okay, great. I wonder what that was for a second. Now level three. Okay, so this really will help us level up quite quickly. And that's what I want, really. I don't want to... It's not going to be a straight let's play as we've done in the past. We are going to be doing the first couple of episodes. Yeah, we'll, we'll set the um, set the stage and do what's, what's needed, etc. Um, but what I'm planning to do is... Uh, I... I already know that, apparently. I already know forging. I don't, because I've just loaded the game up. But, okay. That may be because I have the ability to spawn stuff in, so it thinks I know everything. Uh, which is a bit a bit of a shame, if that is the case. Um, I've done that because I want this to be an interesting Let's Play. I was getting bored of the Let's Plays on the other Seven Days to Die. Um, so, I want to move things along at a quicker pace. So I felt it was um, it was taking too long to do anything. All right, let's just give us this melee. And now I'm level three. Oh, ouch! Okay, it's more about where you hit them. Uh, I wasn't being very accurate, I don't think. Um, so we'll just do our usual stuff. It's some nice loot here, actually. And no, I haven't. Um, filled with any of this uh, but it wouldn't matter if I had um, because it's going to be as I say it's going to be like a highlights package so first couple of episodes will be set in the scene um, I'll tell you what we could do stone axe would have been good uh, we got some of this cloth so we make our sleeping bag and, and stuff with it okay lovely Okay, let's just move on. Um, some stone buildings over here, so we're going to probably look to fortify some of these tonight. Have I got my axe? Yeah, I've got my axe. Great. So, some of you may like the fact that I've, I've given myself some starting stuff. But some of you won't, but there we go. My decision. <laughs> this is the way it is. Uh, so, what we're going to do is really speed along with um, how we're going to do it. So, we'll set up a plan. Uh, set up shop. I'll, I'll lay out the plan and then uh, I'll go back to it and I'll bring you highlights of, of me doing said work. So you're not going to have you know, uh, an episode of me just digging a ditch 
I'll say let's do the ditch digging and you'll see some of it and then it'll be done you know I won't, I'm not gonna make you sit through all of it so I, I felt that's what was, the problem was the, uh, the let's play was really starting to, to lag and slow down and that kind of thing um, this is this is this one or three buildings and check this out because this looks it's a nice stone building um, oh my god it's massive oh oh I think this could be our new fortress we're gonna yes I think we could right here end of end game right here this is gonna this is we've got lights look at this place this is awesome uh, it's crawling with zombies and some rotten meat in there which I'll leave a car battery in the car that makes sense I like that uh, so what we'll do, we'll just let our stamina regenerate. And we'll reload the shotgun. And we'll go and clear this place out. Now it's uh, it's 10 o'clock already. So I, I'm sure I could... Yeah, there you go. Let's, um, let's get 15 of those logs crafting. Boom. Now, that's another thing. I have got rid of the crafting timer and also the loot timer. Oop, you don't do that anymore. Um, so we don't have to wait around because that was another thing that was uh, frustrating me. Um, so yeah, we will be zipping through things like this now. Look, boom, there we go. Some of you will like that, some of you won't. Uh, again, it's just to keep things moving quickly. I did actually pick that rotting flesh up. Who knew? Um, I hope you'll get used to it. You know, it's, it's it's not a big thing at the end of the day, but some of you may just get. Oh no, can't. Oh, well, wait, will that? No. Not enough. Not enough, it would appear. Right, so... Bow is... The crossbow is still in-game, but you need metal and stuff now. So the bow I've uh, I've seen is that. Is that. There we go. So we've got a bow, and... I'm not sure how arrows are. Arrow. Now, there's two types of arrows. There's a bone arrow... So, but finally, bones have some use, and there's the stick arrow, as always. Um, so, well, let's just get um, two arrows crafted. Oh, that's actually ten arrows. Oh, nice! It's a multiplier. Oh, that's a handy little thing. Right now, six. Here's the bow, and we have to R to reload. Yeah, it's a bit feels a bit odd, but there we go. So we've got bow and arrow. And that's cool. Right, we're gonna. Are they even? That's locked. That's locked, right? Come in, please. Okay, so it's quite it's quite a hive of activity this place. So we're going to clear it out. Actually, what I really should do is put um, a front door on to so stop. Um, yeah, secure wooden door. Okay, hang on. I don't feel safe doing it there. As well, I might not. Should we give the old bow a try? See how this bow gets on? Yes. Whoa, hello. Maybe the fatty will be better for the bow. Because there's um more of him to hit. Do we have to aim high? Because the shots seem to be dropping slightly low. Um, it's okay. It's a bit cumbersome. It'll do in a push, and I think it's a better starting weapon than the. Uh... Boom! Level four. Would you look at that? I think it's a better starting weapon than the shot. Uh, the. Than the crossbow, because I think the crossbow was too overpowered. I think we all agreed with that. Oh, not a good time to reload. Always check your reloading status before you go headstrong into um, a melee of zombies. Okay. Level 5 already. Look at this. We're zooming through this. This is going to be really helpful. So, yeah, it's going to be. Uh, ooh. Look at that, we got a nice pond straight away in the middle. Sweet. Whoa, hello. Now I was toying with having them running 
this is the third time I've tried to record this because the first time it was uh, having well, maximum difficulty. Well, it was a bit of a nightmare. So then I changed it back down and had. Uh, whoa! God, they're dropping from the ceiling. And then I had it so that they were uh, running all the time, which was just. You just get um, overloaded. Now, zombies are set on. Onto uh, high, so there's a high level of zombies spawning. We'll definitely need that. Let's um, yeah. So hopefully, uh, it'll just it'll just create a more action-packed, more interesting uh, series where we're doing more, we're achieving more, and we're getting a lot more done. Which is kind of exactly what I just said about three times the same, but you know what I mean. Um, what can we break down? I don't know. As you can see, after a while, they go to goo. This gooey mess. Look at this. Ooh, ooh. There's only one. Um, there's only one uh, image for that at the moment, but there it is. All right, let's craft that. And with that. Let's stick that the door over the door so we can at least secure this building. Nice. I say secure. Um, hello. Okay, she's uh, doing up there. Anyone in here? Yeah. Obviously, you can now crawl through one block um, spaces, which is pretty cool. So, for like here, you can jump oh, and jump through, which is quite nice, as you would be able to do in real life. Can't get through there. Um, yeah, our health is low. Do we have any of those? Yes, we do have pills. So let's just take a pill. Pop a pill. Right, well, there's no way we're going to be able to secure this all um, tonight. So we're going to have to probably make a judgment call and. It's a good find. And. Uh, and only secure some of the building. What's that? They're all lockers untouched. That's great. Really bad. Is this like the school or something? I think this is the school, isn't it? School building. Now these. You're probably thinking, what the hell are they? This is actually um, when zombies. Yeah. It's this, but when they all pile together and then they they form masses of um, rotting flesh, uh, and that's what they can use to then climb walls and stuff. Yeah, it's it's. It's not very well defined at the moment, but uh, there you are. So we can clear these up. Oh, that's gone too far. You've got to get them while they're still juicy, and then you can clear them clear them away. Where are you? I hear you. Once they've gone into that kind of dried state, dried into the carpet, there's not much you can do, to be fair. Ah, there you are. Oh. It's my pickaxe. I don't want to be doing that. Boom. Level 6. Great. Uh, and that is useful. So... Um, let's pop that there for a second. Let's just drink this water. There we go. And I'll have that. Great. So, as I said, let's clear this out. And uh, and then we'll start securing it. And uh, we're making our... Hello. Uh, so we've got... Oh, look at this. What's all this? Gl shininess. Um, big hole in the wall there, okay. Do I have a torch? Yes, I do. So let's um, actually have a look around this place. This is quite nice. Yeah, we can definitely use and do something in this place. Um, yeah, it's definitely the school, isn't it? Okay, and we've got loads of bookshelves. We can look, loads of lockers we can have a look into. We've got some boarded up places. Is that us locked? We need the key from the janitor. No, we can definitely do something with this place. Hello? Do your parents know you're here? Well, I managed to put two holes in the wall. Not quite what I was going for, but there we go. Right, so. Uh, that's locked, so that's secure for now. Um, hello? There's still somebody wandering around. 
think it might be outside there, so that's okay. So, what we need to do is pick a quadrant and secure it. So, for example, we'll take the stairs away from here. So, when I say this, in, in future episodes it will be, this will be gone. We'll, you'll start, it's, watch me do this and then it'll be gone. But for now we'll just do it as, as per usual, so you can see what we're going to do. Now, when you're low level, everything seems to wear really quickly and everything you build is really crap. And that sounds like somebody's walking towards me really quickly. Whoa! Where did you come from, bud? There he is. Hello, bud. Now, how do you get up there? Can you get up there okay? Uh, you kind of... Oh, what a hit. What a hit. He's down, he's down. We'll wait till that goes all juicy and then um, we'll see if we can get rid of it. Right, so let's just drop that bone for a second because I want to pick up this destroyed stone. Now this will probably be wood under here, I'm guessing. Like a wood frame. Yeah, okay, where's the axe? Okay, I shouldn't have been... So this is... Is this wood? I don't know. This, this seems to be doing a better job than the actual... No, that's destroyed stone. Okay. Axes seem to go through anything, which is the name of the game. Right, come on. Come on. Almost through. Come on. Almost there. Yes. Come on. No, you don't. Get out of here. Right, stamina's gone. Alright, and that's done. So that should be pretty secure. Hopla! Yeah, I can't get up. Great. So that's secure. Oh, hello! Let's have another door there. God, that goes so quickly, I can't even see where it goes. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Down there. Okay, uh, let's just drop that for a second. Let's pick that up. Okay, uh, that's not a secure door, so we can't actually do that, okay? Now with that... Where's that stone I picked up? Destroyed stone, can we use that? Not now, can't you see I'm working? Uh, kinda, didn't really work. Nah, it didn't really work, okay. We'll have to revisit that. Um, uh, okay, well, I guess for a temporary halt, that, that's, you know, it's destroyed stone, so it will kind of do for now, I guess, as a, as a, as a holding mechanism. Um, yes, okay, fine. Let's just drop the grass for a second. I want to pick up the... Uh, so I pick up the... No. Where the hell is this? Did the splint despawn? The splint me despawned. Okay, fine. So we've got stairs going up here. Uh, and there's the stairs we've blocked off. Right, fine. So we've got stairs coming up at every conceivable angle. Uh, so if we look to, say, maybe secure one of these rooms for tonight. Uh, we'll pop that up there designating that's the room we're going to look to save for now um, so yeah we need to get real oh god there's a lot of work to do actually but I think it'll be worth it long term let's go make sure the downstairs is secure what's down this end look got some chairs piled up you know don't get me wrong the uh, the chair technique was a fantastic technique served us well for many a time really that's locked okay let's just uh, get in there Loads of good stuff. Loads of good stuff. Okay, great. Well, actually, maybe this would be a nice little secure room for the night. Maybe, yeah. We, we, maybe we're thinking two grand. 
I want to say two grand, I'm not talking about money. Right, let's put medical stuff in there. We've got some antibiotics, some pills, bandages, our splint. Oil apparently is medical, so that's fine. I guess it can be in, in certain circumstances. Right, the bin, we will we will put our scrap in here. So we'll put our iron, iron pipe, and we'll put that pistol stuff in there. Actually, no, let's keep that, pop that in there. Let's put non-useful stuff at the moment in there, like there. There we go. Grain alcohol, that's not really useful at the moment, but that'll serve a purpose. Right, let's stick our door on there. Fantastic. Right, so... Um, it's only half past two, so do we have any wood on us? Yes, we do. What we can do is get get my torch back. Where'd I put my torch? Ooh, all over my shoe. Go and get my torch back. Clear this place up. Uh, obviously, the lighting in here is terrible. We need to sort that out going forward. Can I pick that up? Yes, I can. Grand. So we'll set up in this little room tonight, and then come the morning, we will uh, do some grand stuff. We'll clear this, clear this place out, light it up, and we'll get it ready for action. Now, um, having said what I've already said, the first couple of episodes will probably be obviously this episode is going to be played out as it is, so you can see all the stuff we are doing. I think that that's probably a good way of doing it. Uh, now, can I? Hmm. I might need to make a stone axe. No, stone axe. Uh, yeah, I've got that. I don't have a stick. God, why don't I have a stick? Where did all the sticks go? Oh, I've got wood on me. Heavens above! Why am I just not doing this? It's instant fix. I don't even have to worry about it. Right. There we go. Instant craft. Grand. See, isn't that so much better? I think it is, anyway. I know that the kind of loot timer adds a little bit of um, uncertainty to it or something, maybe, but... There we go. So that's nicely upgraded. We've got cloth on this, so what we need to look is for a uh, sleeping bag. There we go. Set our spawn point. God, the only bad thing about that is that, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Sleeping bag. Uh, did that not work correctly? Did, I, did that not? Oh, there we go. Okay, I must, did I just not fill it in correctly? Maybe looking back, it'll probably be obvious on the video, but in real time it wasn't. Right, so we've got a sleeping bag. Uh, let's go get some stones, get a fire going. And then uh, tomorrow we will start again and... Uh, well, I say tomorrow, it's only half three. It's no, got plenty of work to do today. Do we touch on the levels? Uh, if I hadn't, the so the level system, you can see we are level... What are we? We are level... Zombies killed 38 already. Lives lost 0-0. Zero, Recipes known 7. Uh, total score, so we're level 6, and our wellness is uh, we're almost half halfway to wellness, which is quite good. Um, yeah, that's not bad at all, actually. So, yeah, um, your health and everything is linked to your wellness. Oh, we've got some more buildings over there. Fantastic. And a hoe! <gasps> Dreams do come true. Yeah, everything is linked to your level and your wellness. So, um, our health and our wellness started low. Uh, and as we level up, we'll, uh, the potential which our health and wellness can go to will increase. And then obviously, depending on our actions, if we eat correctly and uh, go to bed at the right time and that kind of thing, don't get eaten, um, that will all help our well-being and uh, we should see our wellness and everything start to increase again, which would be great. Right, so, uh, what do we need? We collect some wood and stone and iron and stuff, so we'll get a forge going in there. And then we're looking to get going quite quickly. So yeah, th this, look at this. This is going to be one hell of a fort. I want turrets off it, I want all sorts of craziness. 
Um, everything which we talked about in the previous episodes, we'll have an underground base. Um, you know, all the things we have talked about, we never really had the time to get it done. Um, that's that's not going to be the problem this time. We are going to do it. See, th this is um, what I was always wondering. Look, the nuclear explosion seems the most likely. Oops, just tidying up as we go. There you go. I might even tidy the streets up as we're here. Um, but there's also a flu epidemic, which you know, obviously, was it a government disease released? Was there some sort of um, war going on? So there was biological warfare going on as well. Who knows? We certainly do not. Um, but the, uh, there's definitely a some sort of nuclear holocaust. That's for damn sure, because there's the the, the radiation and the scorched area, uh, and there's all the burnt people. So yeah, there's um, definitely some sort of um, nuclear esque battle or disaster happens. Um, all right, how's our inventory? Ooh, got, ooh, very close. Let's just move the bank. It's quite scary. Um, stone, we do okay. Iron. Should we put that into there just to free up the inventory space? Filter can go into that as well. Sticks are fine. Eggs, yeah, grand. Uh, okay, what will. No, that'll we'll run out of uh, space. So I need more than. I won't merge all into one because it's too much. Right! Let's get this done. So yeah, this is going to be probably the one of the slowest of the episodes because obviously it's the starting episode, so we're, we're just sort of setting the scene and that kind of thing. Oh, this looks quite nice as well. Oh, that's got to hurt. That's got to hurt. Don't care who you are, that's got to hurt. Okay, let's check these. Oh, that's quite a nice building as well. Maybe. Ooh, nice. Gibonk. He's going to for the, uh, the Glaswegian kiss with the old headbutts. Oh, uh oh, I'm out of puff. You're joking. You are joking. Ah, okay, um, what don't we need? Paper, we don't need paper. I'll have his sandwich though. Make me a sandwich. Oh, this is quite a nice building. Ooh. Oh, maybe. Go on, do that again. Go on, poke your head out. Boom. 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 more going to be like um, left for dead will the zombie apocalypse uh, death and destruction okay that's probably going to be a bit too much to uh, that's the information center that's a nice building we can definitely try and uh, recapture that we're going to go back now and we're going to tart up our place for the night uh, our health is getting low once again let's uh, eat the sandwich and see if uh, that will kill me no it didn't fantastic that gave me lovely nutritious goodness I'm not sure a green sandwich would necessarily give you nice nutritious value but okay we've got loads of animal fat animal fat it came off a human for heaven's sake ooh um, oh, some really nice buildings around here it's um yeah I'm kind of thinking, oh, maybe we should go for the, the information centre, because that's um, rather than the school. But we're here now. Let's just fortify this door up a wee bit. There we go. Uh, it won't hold them. Oh, it's a lovely evening sunshine in here now. Uh, it was through the barricades, and down here, wasn't it? The bathroom down here, this is where we're going to hold up for the night. In we go into our lovely little spacious pad. Oh, nice clean floors as well. Oh, that's good. The uh, the standards haven't dropped. Right, so forge. Apparently we already know that. Yes, we do, apparently. Uh, and we have a pipe. Yay. And we have stone. Yay. And we have a space in our inventory. Oh, it's all coming together. 
Right, so you can... Uh, we don't want... I'll tell you what, what we can do. Before this one breaks. There we go. And we can make a nice little bay for our forge so we don't get the smoke into our uh, into our sleeping area. That's quite nice, isn't it? Now we need a fire. A fire. A campfire, in fact. Oh, some woman whispering. Quite creepy. Right. And where should we put the fire? Uh, we want the warmth from the fire, so we'll probably put the fire there. Yeah, that's quite good. Uh, so we've got a toilet there. We've got a nice. Oh, we've got that's, that can be the toilet, so we can clear this out actually and uh, and reuse that. Did I pick up that other? No, I didn't. That's yeah, still out there somewhere. Right, pick that up. Pick that up. Great. Okay, so uh, I really don't want to be using that for that, do I? Nor this. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to that. So, first thing we can do is get these jars boiling with water. Uh, and then maybe some tea. So we'll get those. Oh, we haven't got a pot. Goodness me, do we have a pot? Ah, there is a hole in my plan. We do not have a cooking pot. Blast, blast, blast. Anyway, okay, so we don't have that, um, and we and fine, fine. Okay, we need, we need, we know what we've got to get tomorrow. So if we get some uh, uh, secure chest, that's what we want to make. Let's make these. Can I make another one? Where are they going to? And I'm, let's make a third one. Let's make a fourth one. Scott storage chest mad. Right, so we can have bonus doi oh, they're not quite can they fit in there? No, they won't quite fit in there. Damn it. Okay, fine. Right, so there we go. We can have um, some storage chests there. We've got our forge there. Fire, blah blah blah. We've got our toilet in the corner. Sink there, medical. Fine, okay, we're set up. Anyway, we're set up. So, uh, I will start tidying this stuff up. We're gonna, um, as I say, zip on quite quickly. We're not gonna mess around. I might mess around for the first couple of episodes, actually, just so we can get a feel for where we are. Otherwise, things might feel like they're progressing far too quickly and, and kind of lose everyone. So, yeah, we might do the, uh, the old Let's Play to begin with, but then I'll start... Um, doing some of the big stuff like digging ditches and, and mines and stuff off screen like I have done in the past so you don't have to actually sit through that so that should be quite good as well um, I think that's, think that's enough for this one episode uh, it's 6.30 uh, we've probably got more we could be doing I guess but let's put our food in here I know we've got food in the stuff behind but I'll um, transfer that off screen here oh, yeah Keep the boring stuff off screen. Yeah, I'm watch you're watching me do this. Yeah, I know. I know. But don't worry. It can only get better. Let's pop that in there. We'll repair that before we use it again. Uh, oh, we've got some brass there. Fine. Okay, I'll leave it there, guys. That still looks a little bit flimsy, but we'll hunker down here uh, and we'll, we'll call it a night. Uh, I may do some tidying up and maybe start building some stuff. I've got lots of wood and some stone. Uh, so if there's anything I, I fancy building I may start but I can't really do much because we don't have any clay for the forge and that kind of stuff so I'll leave it there thanks for watching hope you liked what you've seen so far let me know your thoughts and comments um, I still plan to do what I plan to do <laughs> but if there's anything that you particularly like or you you know want to see let me know and we'll see if we can incorporate it in as well so thanks for watching guys I uh, hope you enjoy this and I'll see you next time